Hey guys, Dmitri here bringing you another video about my insights into the crypto world. Today I'd like to show you how to save on Exodus fees when transferring Bitcoin. So what I would like to do today is transfer Bitcoin from my Exodus Eden wallet over into my regular Exodus wallet and uh, bypass Exodus which uses shapeshift.io under the hood. So let's say that I didn't want to use blockchain.info and I wanted to use Exodus, you know, per usual. So I would go into the Exodus Eden wallet. I have about 103 Bitcoin that I'd like to send. So I'd go into wallet, send, click all. And it's showing me that the fee that I'll pay right now to send all of my Bitcoin is $22.65. Now, that's not as high as I've seen over the last few days due to the high overall transaction volume that we're seeing. I've seen it go all the way up to $80. So $22 compared to that is not as bad, but to me, it's still pretty high. So uh, let's skip sending it through Exodus and save on fees by using a service called blockchain.info. And I leave a link in the description to their site. Once you get to the site, you will just have to create a free wallet by clicking the button called get a free wallet. It's a very simple process. You fill out the form, click continue. And on the first login attempt, you will have to check your email and authorize that attempt to make sure everything is good to go. Um, and that's it. So once you get to the dashboard, um, you'll see something like this and you will now have to import your um, wallet that you would like to send from. So I'm going to import my Exodus Eden address into blockchain.info to get started. And here's how to do that. You would click settings on the left panel, then you would click addresses. You would see something like this. You would scroll all the way down where it says imported Bitcoin addresses. Then you would like to import a Bitcoin address. So you will see this field where you have to paste in your wallet ID and I will get that from Exodus Eden. So I'd like to um, receive because I want to get my address. I will copy the address from Exodus Eden and paste that into the field on blockchain.info. After you click import, they're going to ask you if it's a watch only address. For now, that's OK. So just click OK. It's going to import it. And that was super quick. They're showing me that I have $102.35 in that address so everything looks good that it is imported and right now if anybody's asking you know what what just happened and what's why is it showing me my balance basically it's just it retrieved all of your transactions uh, based on this address all the public transactions and it's showing you the balance that's tied to this address you can't send or receive yet but you'll be able to do that with another process uh, that I will show you right now. So this is just watching what's happening with the address. If you would actually like to send somewhere, you would click the send button in the top left and you would select the currency you'd like to send from what address and that's the one I just imported. You can give it a different name, but for now it's my only address. So this is definitely the one. Then you have to uh, put in the address that you're sending it to. And I'm sending it to my regular e uh, Exodus wallet. So I'm going to copy over that address. So wallet, Bitcoin, receive. Copy over the address that you would like to um, receive the money in. And paste that into this field. For the amount, I would just like to send everything. So for now, I'll input 0.07. But they're going to give me a suggestion of sending everything, which I would just click on. So I'm going to send a total of $97.74 worth of Bitcoin and pay a fee of $4.61. So that's way better than the $22 that we saw in Exodus. So I'll definitely go with that. There are some options for transaction fee, like um, whether you want it to be regular or priority. If you want the money faster, you would click priority. Um, you would pay a bigger fee. So let's see what that looks like. You would pay $23.76. So that's probably what Exodus is using. It's using a priority transaction. But we're going to go with the regular one. And you can, um, there's a button to customize a fee. Um, I haven't done this and I really, I wouldn't recommend playing around with this. Um, these guys know what they're doing. So if, if the regular one is the um, basically the sat per byte that they selected, then just go with that. So I'm going to go with regular, click, um, actually just click cancel just so it goes with that fee now this is the important step it's asking for your private key and some people may ask where do I get that um, and the, uh, the process is pretty simple so first you would go to the Exodus wallet that you're sending from so I'm sending it from Exodus Eden then you would click on this Exodus Eden button in the top left go to developer assets Bitcoin and export private keys so that's gonna export the private keys for that wallet and you're gonna see a new folder on your desktop called Exodus Exports. Now these private keys are very sensitive, don't share them with anyone, and I'm not gonna show you mine, but I did create this sample um, spreadsheet to show you what that might look like. So let's see, 
um, what that looks like. So here we go. So it's just a one row spreadsheet with your address. I just put in some sample information, so this is not real. Um, so you would see your Bitcoin address on the left and the private key is going to be under the private key um, column over here. And this is what you would like to copy and paste. And as I said, this is just an example. Um, so I'll close this out and paste this in for now. Uh, but I will paste in my actual private key on a different window just not to expose that. So let's just go back to blockchain and say that maybe uh, that was the private key. We would export it here and you'd be done. You'd be uh, good to go and you can click continue. So let me actually use my real address um, or a real private key rather, which I have on a different window. Let me copy that over and paste that in there. Um, so everything looks good. I'm going to click continue and show you what that looks like. Okay, so let me bring it back to this window now. And as you can see, it's saying I'm sending Bitcoin from my Exodus Eden Bitcoin address to my regular Exodus wallet. And I'm getting 0 0.005 um, 77811. But that's actually not how much I would like to send. I would like to send everything, but the fee is $4.61. So let me uh, go back and update that. Sorry, one second. Uh, 0.00. Seven, um, sent everything, regular, good, everything looks good. So let me show you that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm sending $97.74, paying a fee of $4.61. That's way better than the 22 bucks we saw on Exodus. Um, so you would make sure this information looks good before cl uh, clicking send uh, Bitcoin. And to me, all of this looks good, loving the fee. So I'm going to click send Bitcoin and see what happens. So my transaction is being confirmed. So super pumped about not paying such a high fee. Um, and it's saying it's going to take approximately one or a bit more, uh, about one hour or a bit more. So what I'm going to do now is just wait for the Bitcoin to come into my regular ex uh, Exodus wallet and uh, show you that it was actually confirmed and it came in. And then I'll tell you exactly how long it took and if I ran into any issues. All right, guys, so I'm back, and um, just a minute ago, I heard the jingle that you usually hear on Exodus when you receive money. Um, so it took right about 10 minutes for me to get the money that I sent over from Exodus Eden into my regular Exodus wallet. Everything went through. I had no issues. So here's just to show you that um, everything looks good, and I received the money, and I paid way smaller fee than if I were to do it with Exodus itself. So not only is blockchain.info faster, uh, but it's uh, way cheaper. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for the video. If you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you found this video helpful, please feel free to like it. And um, until next time, happy investing.